I've looked at and have purchased some facilities with um, some drainage issues. Mm. Um, one of them's um, I, I'm in it passive. I'm still owner as a passive owner, but um, the uh, so there was no lip on the inside of the, of the uh, units. Mm -hmm. So it went from stone to cot flat concrete. So mm -hmm. your only chance of keeping the water out was the rubber seal at the bottom of the door. Um, at some point they're gonna have issues at, and right. at points in the past they have had issues. So that is definitely something you need to look at. Like you said, flood zone, <laughs> flood zone could kill a deal. Um, mm -hmm. When you talk about killing a deal, that to me, at least from my experience, what I've ran into is the only thing that can truly kill a deal. Mm -hmm. Most other things are for the most part negotiable. Um, obviously, unless they've already given you what they're paying for flood insurance, if they're paying for it. Um, Excuse me, John. <clears throat> fine, I think. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, water, really, water and theft is your biggest issues, right? Right. That, it's as far as physical, um, everything else can be fixed, um, or negotiated or whatever. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, that's good stuff, John. One of the things I want to ask you is because we touched on, um, you know, in case you do come across anything that is potentially a deal breaker or might cause you to renegotiate, um, what are some things in your experiences that, um, Maybe some things you found or uncovered during your due diligence that forced you to renegotiate. Uh, and if so, I'm kind of curious on, on what that process looked like. Yeah. Um, actually, I kind of want to talk a little bit about mistakes. My first three, <laughs> maybe four facilities, I didn't do a very good job of due diligence as far as physical inspections. Uh, I was doing everything that we just talked about, but uh, my second deal, asphalt, roof, um had a bunch of leaks i did not look for that so um i found that out the hard way um with renters calling after we took ownership and saying hey um all my stuff's moldy um there's a roof leak and cost me i don't know we'll call three to four thousand dollars were these new renters or the existing existing renters so i was able to kind of look like a hero and say okay we're going to get this fixed um, I apologize. Obviously, this is something the past owner was doing or not doing. Um, so in the in the long run, um, uh, probably made us look like heroes, but bad due diligence on my end. Cause yeah, I could have went back and renegotiated. Um trying to think of other uh, for the most part, a lot of mine have been pretty straightforward, fortunately, um, to where I really haven't had to renegotiate. Um, uh, but I'm also kind of a softy there. Um for the most part, if a seller says, Hey, um, this is the price I'm looking for. I try to get to that price. Yeah. Uh, 